So to use our traditional metal dies, what we're going to be using is we're going to use both of our cutting plates, our clear plates. We're also going to be using our frosty shim and we're going to be using our metal shim. Now this one's quite nice because if we add that into the collection, it will just give a bit more pressure onto the dies and they'll cut a little bit cleaner and crisper and easier. Really good for if you're using detailed dies. We're also going to be using our magnetic mat as well. So I'm going to place these ones together and we're going to bring in our dies. Now one of the good bits about using a magnetic mat is that we can place as many dies down as we wish to be cut in it in one go, knowing that they shouldn't move as they go through the machine so that you don't have to worry about them moving and overlapping. One of the nice bits with this machine, as I mentioned, is it has a printed grid on the magnet. So if you do wish to measure and place your dies to create apertures and items like that, they are perfectly in the right place. I'm going to bring in my cardstock. I'm going to lay that on top of the dies, face down to the side that I'd like it to be cut into. And I'm going to top the sandwich off with my cutting plate. Coming over to the machine, I'm going to push the run button to start the machine going, and I'm going to place the sandwich into the opening on the front. Now from here, the plates will feed through nicely on their own, and as they go through, you may hear slight cracking as the uh, dies cut into the plastic. Now once these have gone through, not only will they have cut, if they have embossed details on them, they may have already started to emboss the details on your dies. If not, you can send them back through with the rubber mat that's also provided to add in extra detail. Now once these have cut, we can lift these straight off and see that every single one of these has cut out perfectly for us. So we may have been creating the apertures, depending on the die that we are using, or we may be after the components it has cut. So we can just use a pokey tool to release these from our die, and then we can be using these as we wish to. And that's how we can die cut with all leading brands of fin dies.